hello and welcome back to my channel today's video will be steps five and six of the crafters companion craft club month number one which is the memory album i showed you how to assemble the spine with the tabs i showed you how to do your uh pages to um how to decorate you know decorate with the pattern paper next is the reinforcement of the spine and i have it here i already did it ahead of time so what you would need is a six inch by five and a half inch paper whatever uh design or color you want your uh reinforcement to be that is this piece and once you get your six by five and a half you will score at two inches on both sides so you score two inches and then you flip it and score it on the other side two inches and you will get your metal dies that has the decorative edge and you pick what decorative edge you want to use for your reinforcement uh, or your backing of your album. And I chose this one since my pages, I use that one and this one I use for the, uh, the reinforcement. So once you have that all die cut and, you know, uh, cut out, scored, and die cut, you are ready to put it on the back part which is this of your album and i'm going to glue mine on and i picked the the gold foil paper because i think it goes uh good with the uh pink glitter paper and this paper came from michael's it it, it did not come with the kit so i'm using different papers from outside the kit because this particular album I'm doing for my great niece. She's uh, um, seven months, going on eight months. So this is uh, hers. And I didn't want to use the papers they provided in the kit. I'm using that for another project. So let me go ahead and glue this on. So I'm going to put the glue on this part in the center and the other part. And you want to make sure you get it on there good because you don't want it to peel up or pop up, you know, once you put it on there. So I'm putting a lot of it. Okay, so once you have your glue on, you want to get your album and make sure to put it evenly where you want it. Make sure none of the white part is showing. And then you just press the sides down. Press that. And rub that together. And then make sure your sides are adhered as well. Now I'm going to let that dry before I open it so let me put this to the side and let it dry okay so also that was step five so step six is decorating your pages 
and in the kit it provided you with different templates this is like a little journaling template where you draw the lines and you write uh, you write uh, your little dates and whatnot so that is the journaling tip template you have a tag template and a corner pocket template and you have some other ones and they also give you like a mini envelope and a pocket so i've already um traced and cut a uh, pocket three pockets and three envelopes so what you would do you would trace the mini envelope on whatever paper uh, you using and you just cut it out and you score on the line so these are the score lines so you just score on the lines and form your envelope mini envelope and you would do the same for the pocket trace it cut it out and score on the lines and here are the ones I did ahead of time here are two pockets and you can use those for like, um, for example, if you want to put a tag, you can put a tag in here in the pocket with a little journaling. So say for example, this is a tag and it's all decorated and you can put that in here, put a photo and then on the back you can put like a little journaling piece and just slide it in here. And yeah, so... Here are the two pockets. I have another I'm going to sh put together on camera. Here are the three envelopes. So say you can put a picture. So let's see. Say that this is a picture. You can put a picture in there. And then you have a picture. Then on the back you have another picture or journaling spot for, uh, for the envelope. So I think that is so cute how this came out. So, um, I assembled two pockets, so let me assemble the last one. I cut it, scored it, and folded it on the line. So, all I have to do now is just glue it. And you can also decorate the pockets if you want. You can decorate them, add some little stickers or whatnot as well as decorating the mini envelopes. So this is really a fun um, kit. I really, really am enjoying putting this um, album together and I can't wait to do more. Okay, so here's the pocket. So I have three pockets and three envelopes. And I'm also going to show, I'm, I'm going to put uh, those in my pages. I'm not going to show everything like decorating the pages on camera because I know that's going to take time for me because I want to make sure I'm putting what I want to put and things of that nature but I will come back with another video once the album is complete without the pictures okay so let me bring my album back in so it ought to be dry okay so yeah this is it how cute so you have your little spine reinforcement on the back I want to say use whatever papers you want to use. Okay, so I also want to decorate this side, even though it has that little decorative edge. I think I want to decorate on top of this. And I have I have a beautiful bow. This bow came from Michaels. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available because I picked it up a little while back. This is the paper bows for a dollar and fifty. It usually be like in the front in those little bins, so uh, you can go check if you're interested. 
if you're interested, you can go check to see if they're still available. But I thought these were so cute. And I had picked up quite a few of them when I went. So I like the little tag. And I'm going to keep the tag on there as well. So what I want to do, I want to, I want to put the bow right here. Right in the center of that the decorative part so I'm going to put some glue because it came like with a little pop dot but I'm going to put some glue on the pop dot because I want it to stay on there and I just thought this would be so cute to decorate the album so I'm going to place that right there hold it I just think that is so cute and I'm gonna put that to the side and let that dry before I open it but let me just show you show you some of the things I'm working with to put in the album I did these onesies a little while back and I'm thinking about putting that on a page I think that is so cute and I have some pearls around the neckline and the bottom and some lace and it has congratulations. So I was thinking about putting a picture here, picture here and a picture there and maybe put like a little journaling piece somewhere and using that and I have another one here. Okay, and what else I have? Oh, and these I picked up from Dollar Tree a long time ago. These are invitations. So I was thinking about using this as a pocket, you know, like glue the top and the bottom and use like uh, some tags coming out. Um, for example, use like some tags coming out. And just pull them out and you have like pictures and different little journaling spots like that. So I think that is a good idea. So yeah, I have some things I want to use for my great niece. And I also grabbed some stickers. I had some like some Hello Kitty stickers. These are just, you know, just to add some embellishment. And I have some other different things. So yeah, so I'm thinking that would be cute. And I will, sh once again, I will show you the finish one without the pictures. Okay, so this is how it look. This is how it's looking so far. How cute. I'm loving it. Okay, so the bow is on. Look how cute is that. And this is how it look on this side and then this side. And then... Once I do uh, the pictures and stuff, I'll put a picture here and I'm going to put something else right here. Okay, so on the inside, I have, I decided to form some pockets right here. So this would be a pocket. So the front and back covers will be pockets so I can stuff like some tags in here with some pictures um maybe some um uh, stickers or whatnot put that in there and then for the back here is the back and I did a pocket for the back as well to stick some stuff in so I thought that was cute And I also added some twine in between the pages. You know, the little part where the little white part was showing. So what I did was I took my pink marker and I colored it. And then I added some, some twine, pink and white twine, in between the pages. I also forgot to mention, before you insert your pages... You can score score your pages before you actually put them into your spine because it uh, helps it when you get ready to flip the pages. 
So yeah, be sure to score it maybe like a half an inch before you put it into your album. Okay, so now let me see. I'm going to pick some pages where I'm going to add my pockets and that will be it for this video. I will come back later once I've uh, finished decorating it and show you what I did um, to decorate it and what I used. So, but for this one, I'm just gonna see what pages I'm gonna add pockets. Uh, I might add one. Cause I'm thinking about add, adding an envelope, a mini envelope here maybe. I think that's cute. Uh, I'm trying to see which one. Okay, maybe this one. I think that'll be cute. I think I'm going to add one here. So let me glue that on and I will be decorating the envelope as well if I want to add something else to it but I think right here in the front is cute so let me get my glue because I will be adding like die cuts and different things to it so I'm just going to add glue to the back of the mini envelope and I think I'm going to slant it here I think that's cute put it at an angle It's a lot you can uh, add. You can add like a little um, like a, another little uh, backing with like a uh, like a square piece on one page and put like some layers and then put a picture and then put some other stuff around it and then the kit also came with like photo corners and it came with these as well so you can use those to add to the pictures or to your envelopes or to the pages whatnot and then you got this little tab here for your um tags as well so they gave you a lot to um use in the kit Okay, so we have an envelope here. Okay, and I think I want to add a pocket. Let's see. I think I want to add a pocket here. Or maybe here. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a pocket here. And it's going to go at an angle as well. So let me go ahead and glue that. Place that at an angle. Make sure that's adhered on. And like I said, you can um, slip something in there. Let me see. I don't have anything. So, for example, this is a tag. You can slip that in there. You know, if it fits, and just pull it out. Okay, so you have that one. I think I'm going to do another envelope. 
here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do another envelope. This one came a pour. Let me add some more glue. Okay, so... <clears throat> trying to see if I should add that one just straight on. Uh, down here. Because I like to add them like at the bottom because they give you all that room to do other things. And I think... Um, Trying to see are you able to add two. Some of them have two, but I think I'm going to do one per page. So, yeah, I'm going to put this one at the bottom. Press that down. I said the possibilities are endless on what you can add to these memory albums. That's why I, I can't wait to show you uh, once I'm finished decorating. Okay, I have room for another pocket. And I think I'm going to put one on this glitter piece. I think that'll be cute. And I think I'm put this one right in the center. So let me glue that. center and press that and if I wanted to I should have put it on like landscape but I did it portrait but that's fine because I might put something to cover that up because you can also put it, that's why I say you, I didn't think about it until now. I should have put it landscape instead of portrait. So I might do the other one like that because I have one more pocket. So let's see, I might do one on this side that is going to be, yeah, and you can pull it out a different way. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Or on this side. I might do it on this side and then save the envelope for this one. Yeah, so let me glue that. That's adhered. Okay, and I have one more pocket, and I'm going to put it on this side. So when you do your tags, you can pull it from this from that angle. I think I'm gonna go back to this one, yeah. I think I'm gonna do it on that. Put that one. 
right in the center and just hold that make sure it's adhered okay so that's it for my mini envelopes and pockets I'm not going to add any more of those because I think I have enough so yeah I'm going to have tags coming out with the ribbon and then I'm going to have some um, some layers here you know to put on this page but yeah let me go back through it so this is the front so far with the tag. And I'm going to put like a picture of her and maybe something else. Okay, so like I said, the, the cover and the other page have a pocket. So I'm just going to use that as an example. So you put like a tag here and put some other stuff you know you want to put in there. And then you have this page. And you got your mini envelope. So you can put a, a picture, some journaling. You can add stickers or um, some other little embellishments here. Because I'm thinking about adding maybe some pearls, some gems, maybe around the edge part. Okay, so you have this page here, that page, and this one says, I love you. And then you have a pocket here, another mini envelope. Then you have these pages, then you have another pocket to put things in. And then this pocket is landscape. You know, you can pull out your tags coming from that angle. Then you have another mini envelope, the page front and back, and then you have your back cover with the pocket. So I'll be putting stuff in there as well. And that's it. So this is how it is looking so far. So this is how it's looking so far. I will be adding other things as well to it. Um, so hopefully you understand how to assemble the memory album. And you can always go back and check out my videos from steps one, steps one to six. And that's it. And I will do another video once I finish decorating the memory album without the pictures. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.